Hi, this is Sensei Jillian from Code Ninjas. Today we'll be talking about loops in Scratch. I'll first go over the repeat block, then the repeat until block, and then move into the forever loop block. All of these blocks are located in the control section, the dark orange blocks. First, let's go over what a loop is. A loop is a set of code instruction that is continuously repeated until some condition is arrived at. For the repeat block, its loop stops at whatever number you put inside this input space here. Now let's move into some examples. One example is changing the color of my sprite multiple times. I can drag out this change color effect in looks. And now see when I press on it, my sprite's color changes a bit. Now say I want this to happen a bunch. So I put the repeat loop block around the code I want to repeat, which is only this one block, but you can repeat multiple blocks. And then I want to change color 20 times. So I'll put 20 in the input and then put the when green flag block clicked above. So now when I run the code, it works. Another example is of movement. Say I want my sprites move 100 steps. You might think, okay, so we can put move 100 steps under the when green flag clicked and that works great. Let's try that out. See how my sprite isn't actually taking steps, but just moving those 100 steps in basically one step? Instead, I can repeat 10 steps 10 times because 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100. So I'll change the input to 10 and I'll add a repeat loop block around this blue block and have it repeat 10 times. Let's try this. Seems to work, but it goes as if it's gliding. I could also put a weight block inside here so there's a bit of time between every step. So it's more walking than running. The time you wait is also up to your choosing. So let's try that again. See, that looks better. Building off the repeat loop is the repeat until loop. This is similar to the repeat loop, but instead of putting a number of times until the code stops repeating, the code will repeat until a specific statement is true. For example, making the sprite move again. I can have the X position keep on moving 10 steps until the X position is greater than 100. So I'm gonna put X position in its first input and then change this number to what I want, which is 100. And that works. Or I could have the sprite keep on moving for a specific number of seconds instead of by what its X position is. So I'll turn the timer on in sensing to see the time. And then instead of X position, I'm going to put timer in. And I'll change this input to three for three seconds. So my sprite will keep on moving for three seconds. I'm also having it move in steps of two. And see, now three seconds have passed and it stopped. Also, I can put code under this loop block. See right here. Code under it will run once the statement after repeat until is true, or in other words, after that code stops repeating. So I could have the sprite say yay after, for example. So right after three seconds pass, it will say yay. Now onto the forever loop. This loop is similar to the repeat blocks, but a forever loop means this loop never ends. This is why there is no bump at the bottom of the block because no code will be added after the forever loop because it doesn't end until your program ends, either by pressing the red stop sign or using the stop all block in your program. In other words, the forever loop is infinite. There are so many different uses for the forever loop. For instance, I could have sounds or music play for my entire program, like this. Or I could have my sprite continuously spin for my entire program by putting the turn a certain number of degrees block within the loop. See? My dog just keeps on spinning. Now, a use you may not think of at first is if you want your program to be continuously checking if something is true. For example, I could do, if I press on my space bar, my sprite will jump. I've already set up the code for if I press the space bar, my sprite will jump in my backpack. So I'm just going to pull that out. And if I just add the code under when flag clicked and then run the code, it's not doing what I want. Right now I'm clicking on my space bar, but no jumping happens. This is because my program is not always checking if I'm pressing. So I need a forever loop. So I'm just put that around. And now when I press the green flag and keep on pressing on my space bar, my sprite will jump. It will always jump because it is always checking due to my forever block. If an if then block is included in your script, you will most likely need a forever loop. Sometimes the key to getting your program to run is simply by adding this forever loop around your code. 
Now, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope this is some useful info on loops to use for some great future projects.